Do a live in Amelia's bedroom. Okay, sorry. And five, four, three, two, one. <laughs> Welcome back to my vlog session. I know it's been so long since I did one of these, but I am very excited that we are back uh, in a new location again. Or some of you may recognize this. I don't recognize this, <laughs> so it's cool. In a new location for some people, but yeah, we are back and we are going to do a series about you know what i'm not even gonna tell you guys because you guys must just keep staying tuned but you may recognize the face that i have next to me he's been on one of my vlogs before please check it out it's super super fun super super cool he was with the other group of people and we had a great time but this time he's on his lonesome you traveled all the way on your own dish man was very far <laughs> so this is very far <laughs> Traveled all the way on his own, and I'll let him introduce himself. Hello, I'm Lukanya Shongwane. Um, I am a human being. I'm a poet, and I love Jesus. Amen. And cheese. Really? Yes, I love cheese. Which one? Right. Just like cheddar. White cheddar is my new thing right now. Is it? White cheddar cheese. It's my mom's as well. No, white cheddar <laughs> cheese right now is legit the thing. Yes, my yeah. mom also likes that on crackers. I don't know. No, just like on toast with jam. Oh, okay. Oh, it's phenomenal. <laughs> it's the best. It's really the best. So, as you heard, Lukanya is a poet. So, I wanted to just divulge into that conversation. I know a lot of people always wonder, oh my word, can I go into arts, especially being black? <laughs> I don't know. African American. <laughs> African. <laughs> Uh, uh, you know, so I wanted to just talk to uh, him and a few other people regarding how is it being in the arts business? Is it difficult? Is it a struggle? So we're going to talk to him, divulge and see what is happening. Cool. Cool. Questions. First things first. Why poetry? Because I can't dance. Okay. Um, <laughs> like, but you can sing. Uh, or rap. I used to rap. Okay. Yeah, so the journey started with rap. Um, Luca Disciples and we rapped. And then I was like, well, I wasn't like, I was just like, I can I can do something else. So then I went into poetry. Okay. And I just do poetry because I love talking. Okay. Um, but I also don't like strangers. So it's like a, it's a, it's an interesting conflict of things. Okay. Um, I love being on stage. Okay. But I don't like strangers. <laughs> so, um, oh, it's fun, man. It's, it's, it's a great way for me to just express whatever I feel and to say certain things and as a ministry tool it's really great too um being a christian and everything you know that's also important Super. so yeah it's, it's great as a ministry tool but also just like it's like a just to level the the playing fields some places is good okay yeah. uh when it comes to poetry so i don't know obviously they don't know is the competition stuff is it difficult <laughs> is it like being a rapper or being a musician and trying to I think break barriers <laughs> The industries, the industries are very different. Okay. Um, you 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 get rappers that are like not great, but they make really that good money. <laughs> <laughs> like, and that's because like the the society we live in at the moment is mm -hmm. like a they like they're very like bubblegum. Like they just love like instant gratification. So mm. it's like I can rap. Okay, cool. Make a beat, and then and then like the trees are green. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then like <laughs> money, you know. And so the the poetry industry is it's growing. Um, it's not one that was always recognized, so it's growing now. Um, Competition-wise, it's stiff if you're really, really dope. Okay. Um, it's really stiff because like there's a lot of like amazing poets out there. Really? Uh, they're, okay. They are ridiculous. I don't like, think we know actually. They're insane. Okay. Um, you know, okay. You, must, you 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 have to find them. Oh. You know, but they're like underground rappers, exactly like underground. So, okay. Like, you know, like all the things we have are like in like a dark alley somewhere. <laughs> Um, but it's 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 one of the most amazing things I've experienced at the moment is the poetry industry, um, purely because we like we all stick together. Okay, so uh, it's not like oh that one's the best. Yeah, Let's take him down. Yeah, there's no beef. Okay. Uh, no, because like it's it's we're always writing about things that directly affect us or society. Okay. Um, and because of that, like I can't hate on you because you went through something. Um, That's it's very like, true. You know what I'm saying? And yes. so um, 
everything that we do is just like yo I went through this I'm gonna write it down in a poem and then you know and then just say it and so there's there's a lot of love going out there wow. which, is, which is why I love the poetry industry okay. there's a lot of love that's happening right now so it's dope man okay it's really cool dope, yeah. um what do you write about <laughs> and how is the how is the process is it um, like I'm, we just went through Valentine's Day so is it like I'm in love and then I'm writing it's or, it's or uh it, <laughs> <laughs> Um, my writing process has slowed down a lot. Okay. I haven't written nearly as much as I should. Um, but it's normally just like from feeling and stuff. So if I'm feeling really sad and I would write about it, I'll write a sad poem. Okay. And if I'm feeling really happy, I'll write a happy poem. Okay. And if I'm with my girlfriend, I'll write a love poem, you know? Um, but there's also things like, like Christian poems. Christian poems haven't been like my strong point. Okay. Um, because I, I'm, I'm, my, my biggest fear is, is, is to be corny. You know, and it's a slippery slope uh, when you're writing things about re religion. It's a very slippery slope. Okay. So, I, like, for me anyway. So, like, I don't stay away from it, but I'm like, my Christian poem must be really, really dope, or else I'm not going to write it. Okay. Um, and then I just write stories, man, about stuff. I have a lot of poems about abuse and single, like... Is it stuff you've been through, stuff you've seen, or as you said, society um, and your yeah, experiences put it's, together? It's a lot of society things. Okay. Um, not many things that I've been through. But also like the things that I've been through, like my Christian poems, like I've been through what okay. I'm talking about, you know. Okay. And and so if I'm writing about God, I'm writing from like from revelation, from experience. But like most things I write from like just just watching society, man, um, and how like sometimes like things are toxic out there at the moment. Absolutely. So yeah, you know I try to <laughs> write happy things, but like it's difficult to write happy things when everything is so toxic outside. So, mm -hmm. but just dope. It's Who dope. are like in the uh, poet industry who is most of competition is it like guy versus guy or girl versus girl or guy and girl or um, like you said is it all just love because we all just look, love each other it's it's all love okay and, and it's all love because um like we're all like everyone is dope and and i think that's the thing i think you sure um like let me let me let, <laughs> let me let, let me clarify what I'm saying. All the people that I've experienced okay. um, are dope. Okay. And and that's because they like I can't stress how good like a refining thing is for you. So for us, like I met all my friends at Slam. And Slam is important because it refines you. What is Slam for slam, us and myself? Slam is when you compete. Yeah. Um for points. And we compete. We slam for eight months, eight, nine months. Wow. And it's a new poem every month. Okay. And you have to write in your poem and then you compete for points okay you know, so, and then what happens with the points uh you so you rack up your points and then you compete for top five so there's top five at the end of the season and you five go and compete for king or queen of the mic okay um, that's pretty yeah. dope that's dope it's from word and sound it was like guys my favorite experience ever in poetry <laughs> was word and sound um and i got there and i slammed for a year that was 2017 Okay. Slam for 2017 then i went to the to the festival for okay the finals. um and that's just because it refines you like a lot you know and, and you learn a lot about just like i was i was terrible when i started okay i was terrible at least you're honest i was terrible i wasn't i thought i was really where good. can we find the terrible part never <laughs> you will never ever find it they're hidden they're, they're burnt. I burnt. Uh, they will, you will never, never, ever find that terrible. Poem. No one has it. Nobody. No one's ever heard of it. No, people have heard it. Okay. Because, but no one knew that it was a terrible. Like again, I was terrible to my standards. Oh, I see. Right. So I to my you. standards, I was terrible. And, and your friends were like, "You are amazing. And I, you were great." And in my head, I'm like, "I don't understand that. It was a terrible <laughs> poem. What do you mean?" And um, so I went to Rotten Sound with my two terrible poems, and they were like. Where? Well, what time? Look out, yo! <laughs> Woo! You know, in my head, I'm like, that was so bad. That was so bad. But you like, you learn. Okay. You learn, you learn, you Got learn. You. And it opens your mind, it refines you. So the people I've encountered are mad dope. Okay. Mad, mad dope. Like, I'm still like a child. Like, I'm a child okay. compared to like the people. But I've you're encountered. sponging all the knowledge. You I'm, can. Yeah. So I'm, 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 I love chilling with them because sponging their like, knowledge is super, super great. Okay. Um, there's a dude called Mutle Muti. Oh. <laughs> Maybe he should be on my next one. Uh, what do you guys think? Mutla's legit. He's mm. like he's <laughs> like there's gods, like there's actual gods to poetry wow. that we look up to, wow. and he's one of them. He's like the the hierarchy. He's there. Somewhere. I was gonna give you a South African. I mean, a uh, American god. Uh, what do you think about American poetry? Let's talk about that. <laughs> <laughs> um, um, that hmm. They're dope, man. You know, okay. I, I love okay. I love Alicia Harris. Um, uh, 
Joshua Bennett. Mm-hmm. Um, yes, Joshua, that was as well. Know, Joshua Bennett. Um, obviously, the guys from PIA. Um, Ezekiel. Um, oh, yes. Genetics, um, Jackie Hill Perry, Preston Perry. Um, Joe Solomon is really good as well. Um, so, yeah, man. Like, I, I pick who I listen to. So, I don't listen to everybody. Mm. Uh, Miles Hodges great. is dope. Uh, Zora Howard is really dope as well. Um, so, yeah. Like, we write differently. Uh, American and, like... Africa, I'm going to say. Okay. We write differently. And you, you, it's, you can, the rhythm of our writing is different. Um, and I've exper- is it like... I've experienced really, 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 like, great South African writers. Okay. Like, great. Some of the greatest writers I know are from here. Okay. Um, and some really, really dope writers are in America. You know, so it depends, man. It depends. It depends what you want, what you like. If you like sad poems, you go to a certain person. If you like great love poems or the certain type of poetry, you go to a different person. Oh, okay. Yeah. Do you find your genre in different people? Like when you want to talk about God, you go to that person. When you want to yes. Talk- okay. Yes, and that's oh. purely because, like, like if I want to write, like, if I want to zone in on Christian poetry, I'll submerge myself in Christian poetry. Okay. Just so I'm just like. Oh, that sounds cool. Oh, that sounds great. Oh, that's nice. But if I want to write like uh, any other thing, I'm writing, I'm listening to Joshua Bennett. Okay. He is, he's, for me, he's the most incredible, like, like writing wise, he's insane. Okay. Um, especially love poems. Joshua Bennett's love poems are insane. We so if I want to write a love poem, I'm going to <laughs> Joshua Bennett. I'm like, bro, inspire me. And then after I listen to him, I'm inspired. It's not as good, but it's, it's, it's not terrible either. Okay. Have you ever used the poem to get a girl? <laughs> I'm not going to say no. I'm not going to say yes. I plead the fifth. Um, I deny all these allegations. Uh, I'm, I'm done. I plead Did the it work? I plead the fifth. It worked. It worked. I mean, me saying it worked is me admitting that I've done it. Ah, oh, it it, I, it worked. It worked. I have and it worked. Okay. I have and it worked. Um. Those are some of the tools that we have to advantage. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? And like, that's another thing. Like, if you're a poet and you like a girl, yeah, like it's cheesy writing a poem. Okay. It's very cheesy. It is very it's cheesy. Super. It's super super corny writing a poem okay. for a girl. But like, when you do it and she hears it, doesn't matter how cheesy it is. Did you put a name in it? No, I'm a stupid. Oh, okay. <laughs> I ain't dumb. <laughs> I ain't dumb. No, no, I ain't dumb. <laughs> and and you, uh, if you say it to her, like. It's, it's it. done. It's stick it. It's done. Stick it. Okay. Yeah, stick it. So okay. I've done it. So how has the po- how has you being in the poetry industry, uh, especially, you know, being black folks supporting you, your friends supporting you, were they like, huh? Confused? Um were they like, What are you doing? This does this make money? You know? <laughs> my you know? F- my friends and I are we're all, we're, we're all creatives. Okay. So it it was an it was a it was a no brainer okay. to to be creative, we're just it was just which part of creative or creative uh, stream, or whatever I'm going to go to next. Okay, uh, we all wrapped together. Yes, that's so, true. So because we're wrapped together, um, they were like, "What you doing, poetry?" Okay, cool, bro. You okay. know, there was no, it wasn't a thing of like, "Oh my gosh, don't do it. You're going to be poor forever." <laughs> there wasn't there, you okay. know. And also, maybe I should stress, I don't do poetry for, for it's not a, it's not a, I don't do it to sustain my. Oh, okay. No, I work. <laughs> is it is it something you would like to sustain your life? I don't know. Okay. I don't know. I don't okay. know if I want to write under the pressure of um, like money. Money, exactly. Yeah. I don't want to write because it's for a paycheck. I love writing because it's the greatest way to express myself. Um, so doing it for money would just put unnecessary pressure mm. on my writing. Yeah. You know. Yeah. Um, so yeah, I don't do poetry for money. I do poetry because I love doing it. When I do gigs. I charge. Okay. But okay. I'm not like a, you know, I'll charge for a gig, but I'm not like a, oh my gosh, I'm going to spend money to make 10,000 rand. <laughs> I, don't have to, I can't do that. You okay. know what I'm saying? So I have my actual job. And then after work, um, I'll write a poem. Maybe one every like three weeks. Okay. That's pretty dope. That's a lie. I haven't written an age. <laughs> I'll cut that out. I'll cut that out. <laughs> I'll cut that out. Uh, that is funny. So yeah, man. And your folks? Uh, my mother hates poetry. Oh, wow. Um, <laughs> And I, th- I discovered, so, my mom hates poetry because my dad used to write. Okay. Uh, I, I, I so, found, do you thank him I for fu- that? I found this out, like, a long, 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 no, not even. I found this out, like, two years ago, okay. three years ago. I was like, yeah, your dad was a writer. And I was like, you never told me this when I was, 
doing the wrong thing. She was always like, don't, don't do that thing. Go to school. <laughs> but mom, I'm, I'm a creative. I'm all right. You know, so, um, yeah. I mean, she was like, I used to hate it when he wrote poems too. I was like, <laughs> lady, it's romantic. Shush. Um, so she's, she doesn't understand it. Okay. She doesn't understand it. And I get that, you know. Um, but she's never, she's also never been like, oh my gosh, quit this writing thing. Oh, okay. You know? She's always been like, you're a strange kid. <laughs> and that's okay with me. <laughs> and and she and she stays there, you know, and that's fine with her. I'm okay, cre- I'm the only creative in the family. Okay, uh, my brothers are extremely logical. Okay, um, math, science, but all these things, Not engineering, science. medicine. Okay, not me. I'm like I want art. <laughs> uh, I just I just want to draw pictures, <laughs> like pictures and stuff. So, yeah, my mother doesn't understand poetry, but it's cool. And she's a, and she. I don't know if I don't know if I can call it support, but okay. I know she hasn't she hasn't badgered me to leave it. Okay. But she's also not like, oh my gosh, did you write a poem? Was it good? Oh really? Oh, it's so great, son. Okay. Never done that either, you okay. know. But and you're fine with that. I'm okay. Does with it hinder your? No, okay. no. I think my mom and I have become the closest of friends. Okay. Yeah, that's we're, great. We're, 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 we're the same WhatsApp group. Okay. Yeah, that's that's my homie, man. <laughs> <laughs> um, but nothing's hindered my writing either because I don't write and send her poems. Okay. So yeah. she's not there to be like, this word, what does it mean? <laughs> she's, you know what I'm saying? She's not there. So I'm just like, I write and then I write and then I'm done. Mm-hmm. And uh, if I've got a gig, I'll tell her about it. Mm-hmm. She's like, oh my gosh, that's good, my son. And then done. <laughs> Time out, change the subject. Did you pay rent? <laughs> we're done. After that, we're done. That's it. No more poetry talk. You know? Okay. Um, so she's there, man. She's there, but she's not, she's not like waving the poetry flag at me. Okay, you know? cool. Not for me. Would you please give us a poem? Um... I can. Yay! I can. Um, it's uh, cool. So I'm going to give you a background story to the poem first. Okay, so cool. So a friend of mine wrote a poem called Voices, Voices. right? And his name is Tobani. Oh, what a G. Oh, I love you, bro. Tobani, um, hi. He is, he's, he's phenomenal. He wrote a poem called Voices. And in his poem, um, there's a line that says, gifted minds don't belong in boxes. Um, and that's the line I took. I was like, oh my gosh, what a great line. Oh, I love this line. And then I was like, cool, I'm going to write a poem, but I must have this line in it. Okay. Right? So I wrote a poem. So this poem is in accordance to his poem. Um, but his poem is dope. <laughs> <laughs> his poem is dope. Um, so yeah, I wrote this poem because his poem, and then I wrote my poem. Okay. So it's Before called- you write a poem, sorry, I have to interject. So do you always, do you guys do that a lot? Steal lines or... No, I didn't steal his line. No, I told him, I was like, bro, I want to respond to your poem. Oh, okay. You know, we respond That's to each very other. respectful. Yeah, we, like respect, we, oh. we, we respond to each other's poems. Okay, uh, But I see. Not, not regularly. But okay. if it's a really, really dope poem, you're like, yo, this is dope, I want to respond to it. Yeah. Then you contact the writer and like, hey, do you mind if I respond to your poem? Oh, like, wow, yes, you guys are res- super subtle in your industry. Yeah. It's like, respect. I feel like it's not okay to just take someone's line of work and be like, oh my gosh, I thought about this myself. Yeah, Ooh, absolutely. That's not okay, you know? Yes. So when you're right, it's like in response to mm-hmm. this person and then you do your poem just to pay respect to the creative mind that wrote the original piece. I feel like that's okay and I feel like rappers should learn the same respect. <laughs> anyway, I don't want to throw it in the shade. <laughs> I'm a poet, I'm an ex-rapper. So anyway, life goes on. Okay. Cool. The poem is called Whispers from a Raven. Okay. Uh, raven the Black Bird. Raven the Bird. Okay. Yes. Not Raven tomorrow. Not Raven. Not Raven. Not Raven. No, not that. Not that Raven. Okay. No. The bird. The bird. Yes. That sits on like the trees and stuff from Game of Thrones. That Raven. And Vampire Diaries. I don't watch Vampire Diaries. I'm black. <laughs> um, cool. So, poem. <laughs> um, now? Now are you serious? Oh, yes. Okay, cool. Um. <clears throat> In my dreams, my inner child lays next to me. Content with the belly full of wonder, he lays fetal positioned, nursing from his thumb like his nails contained bedtime stories. He smiles and he giggles in his sleep, shuffles his feet as though he were tap dancing on the clouds, his arms flailing, I imagine he skydives with the eagles. At times, he awakens and catches me staring at him. His eyes, stark naked and invited to peek into his soul, there is a land of fairy tales with no ground to stand on. He walks on particles of dreams, lives in pyramids built like trees that branched castles, at the peak lives a raven. She carries a message, her voice like wind breezes within his inner ear when she tells him, keep playing with voodoo dolls. Make a new one every day, create them as soldiers to fight for your dreams. Draw a crown on its head. Reincarnate yourself as king. 
Dot eyes that envision another world and curve your lines for smiles that will find you marveling at rainbows. Take the arms and fill them with pebbles. They'll paint them as muscles. There will come a time where you may need to move mountains. Draw the sun in your palms. Remind yourself that you can hold the stars in your hands. Disassemble rose bushes. Take the shards of thorns and paste them on your knees. You will crawl to most victories. In this journey of finding yourself, first you must find King Midas. Trace his fingerprint on his chest and beat yourself a heart of gold. When you are done, revisit your eyes. Ellipsis your pain. Shape your tears to that certainty of truth. Sketch wings on your temples. Gifted minds don't belong in boxes when you awaken. Rid yourself of this coffin-like body and hinge as spirit and walk on the dreams coveted by Icarus. You can fly. That was amazing! That was so great! Thank you. Thank you. Wow! That's amazing! Okay, so where can people find you and your poetry? And I slam? am on YouTube. I think my most <laughs> views. I think I'm eleven. I was like, yes, yes, eleven people watch my poem. Yes! I'm so excited. Ah, <laughs> oh! um, I know the name Lucanio. L U K A N Y O. Longwane H. Longwane. Longwane. Oh, okay. That's a very interesting last name. Uh, And yeah, I'm there. So, yeah, man. And then like just. Oh, and I'm also on Instagram, <laughs> only one Luke's, and Twitter, only one Luke's. Okay. And Facebook, look on your phone. Okay. So you can find me anywhere, do this thing, send me whatever you want, and then we can have a chat. Yay! Uh, thank you so much. It was my pleasure. Oh, that was super, super fun. Guys, that was amazing. It was amazing. Thank you so much for coming again. You thank should you be a regular. Me. No. Sure? no. <laughs> Thank you so much for coming, guys. If you have any comments or questions, or if you want to see him again, want him to be a regular, let me know. Do this thing. Yeah. Must be here. Don't do this. It's too fancy. <laughs> Must be here. Yeah. Do this thing. Uh, send me an email. Follow me on all my social medias. Until next time, we will see you again. Bye. Bye. Peace out.